city centre is one of the premier shopping complexes in Kandy. Bird Spice is their recently opened restaurant which features a variety of uh, food from various countries. Okay, so they have um, an Indian section, they have an Italian section, Chinese and Thai. And they also have a special beverages and desserts island. Dessert and snacks. Snacks. Yes. I thought the food was pretty good um, and the variety definitely is. And it was quite day. filling. Very filling. <laughs> desserts, my dessert is amazing. Right, right. So, hazelnut mousse was really good. Mm -hmm. And um, I tried, uh, for, for the mains, I tried fettuccine uh, marinara and uh, I also tried uh, strawberry panamata and they're absolutely <laughs> delicious. So, yeah, definitely for good food, this is the place you should yeah. definitely try. I highly recommend this place for anybody who wants to dine in and to get a, a different experience from what you would otherwise uh, get in, in Sri Lanka. There are several street food places which are on the rise. One of these places is licensed to grill and we dropped in here to check it out. Um, I think it's a really nice concept that they have going on here because yeah. especially considering I think that they don't have anything like this yes. in the area. Yeah. And uh, as obviously like the, as we can see it's very very popular with tourists and the food is actually pretty good too. Um, so we tried out the um, besides tuna wrap and the chicken yeah. use chicken wrap. I highly recommend, highly recommend this place for those who like to have a taste of street food in Kandy. Slightly chilled lounge and restaurant is one of the most popular dining spaces in Kandy. Okay, um, so these people have a wide variety of food available from Chinese to Western. Uh, what we actually tried, we tried their seafood fried, seafood rice, fried rice with hot butter cuttlefish and um, we egg. tried their clay pot golden fried eggplant, vegetable spring rolls, hot butter cuttlefish. Yeah, seafood fried rice and uh, also we tried two, uh, two varieties of their pasta. Yes, uh, we tried the spaghetti in both pesto and tomato and I have to say hands down it is one of the best pesto pastas I've ever had anywhere so it would be worth coming all the way if you're in candy just make sure you drop in and have their pesto it's amazing. Uh, generally I think their food is good they have a variety for everyone they have a lot of vegetarian options as well uh, even in the pasta, which is vegetarian, the choices we have, you can ask for meat to be added. So, and it's I'd also, recommend this place to anybody who would like to get a, a better view of candy. And uh, as the name suggests, it's a very chilled out place. We are at the Cool Corner Fried Ice Cream Parlor, and this is one of the newest additions to the eateries in candy. Uh, we came here to taste some of their ice cream and. We were simply amazed. They have a large variety of ice creams available here. Um, and we tried some interesting mix of flavors actually. Yeah. Uh, we tried the Kara picture, believe it or not. It was actually really? fantastic. We yeah. loved it. We loved it. And also we tried the uh, plum pudding ice cream. And we got to know that it was a, a recipe which dated back to around 100 years. And uh, we also tried the crispy chocolate crispy nut ice cream which is a cool corner special and we definitely recommend it for those who like to get maybe because of the the warm weather in candy if you want to get uh, yourself cooled down you can definitely visit this place we had natural coffee a place that is very easy to find in the candy city it's situated just adjacent to the Dada Mariga um, I think the coffee you can tell the quality is kind of great yeah. Uh, but the way they present the coffee is they don't make it too sweet so that you can appreciate the coffee more. Because of that, that might not be for everyone, but of course you can add sugar. And there's also a kiddo penny that you can add to it. It's lesser known, but those who know the place do visit it to, uh, once again because they actually have a wide variety of coffees to start from. So we tested their cappuccino, the iced latte. The, their natural coffee, which has also won a gold medal recently. You can tell that the quality of the coffee is quite, yeah. it's quite rich and quite Very rich. outstanding. Yes. So we, we would like to recommend it to all, all of you coffee lovers out there. So do try it the next time you visit Cap. Uh, so we're at Bono right now. Uh, this place is quite, uh, it's situated in the town itself, but it's a bit hidden away from the usual business of the place. Okay, yes. so it's a very cozy cafe with an interesting aesthetic. They use a lot of wood yeah. um, and it's designed by the owner himself. The owner right? himself. Uh, he, he's actually partnering in this uh, in this venture. venture. His name is Kishan Vijay Surya. So uh, part of this um, 
part of the proceeds of this uh, cafe goes to child action lanka which is an ngo this uh, so this ngo uh, supports child, street children from around sri lanka and uh, which we came here to taste their food and yeah we were actually uh, we, we actually liked the donut yeah and uh, the strawberry mojito and uh, the, the iced tea iced tea so it's very uh, refreshing interesting yeah. hot day so 40% of the proceeds of this uh, cafe goes to charity uh, as mentioned before which is child action lanka and uh, yeah we recommend this place to anybody who comes to cafe and you'll also be supporting a very good cause